Hello again, welcome to The Ref Show and fair as we always try to be on this programme, I think it's fair to say that there are some serious questions to raise about the current standard of refereeing in the Premier League. Keith Hackett and Mark Halsey, our experts here, certainly won't shirk them. Where to start? Clear penalties not given, maybe half a dozen, uh, as many as that in the Premier League, and red card offences numbering several go unpunished. Uh, that's not even mentioning Joe Hart, who goes head to head with the referee and escapes any punishment whatsoever. Keith, Mark, uh, people think that you enjoy this sort of thing. I, I for a fact, know that you don't. Well, I mean, if you consider the amount of time that Mark will tell you that I spent hours and hours as general manager, uh, long days to get, first of all, to help to get professional refereeing into this country, then to promote it and promote the referees, the lifestyle change, difficult point, uh, points and periods. You know, we had uh, referees who weren't even on laptops, all those sort of things, if you like. Uh, and then the professionalism that Matt Weston brought in in terms of fitness, movement, positioning. So how bad is it at the moment if you're saying it's bad? Uh, I mean, it's bad. I mean, I, when I get a, a phone call from a, a FIFA referee from abroad saying, Mark, what is going on with your, with your referees? Um, I don't blame the referees. I mean, it, it hurts me because they're former colleagues, former friends, and it really does hurt to see what's, what's going mm. on. But I think it, it, it's got to go to, to the management. I don't think there's, they've got, they've, I think they've lost total confidence um, with the management. And the and the assistance referees in in that in that, in that area, um, and, it, and we've got to look look back to the, to the evaluation. I just think I just think it's a it's a severe lack of confidence on going onto the field of play now because I, I honestly I mean you see these incidents you see um, cautions for uh, reckless careless um, we're seeing penalties not given and it, and at any level you at whether you're a you're a player you're a whatever you do every sport it's all about confidence and I think we've got a severe lack of confidence okay. in, well, we'll, in the game at the we'll moment. We'll try to talk constructively about <coughs> what could be done about this. I know that Keith wrote a blog mm. about this on, on, on mm. You Are The Ref but the fact is I think I counted 10 or 11 major uh, really major errors in the current round of Premier League games. So can we start with the Monday night game which was Crystal Palace against Sunderland with Sunderland winning by three goals to one. Phil Dowd uh, in the middle for that one and it got off to the worst possible start for him didn't it? It did well I mean t 23 seconds into the game and you've got to be on you've got to be on your metal straight from your front straight from the whistle and you know to looking at Phil he's in a he's in a great position he's in an absolutely fantastic position and a referee, an elite referee at that level, I'm afraid, I think you've got to be seeing those. And, and for me, when I referee, the clue is, if you've got a centre forward bearing down on, on goal with the ball at his feet and he goes down with a defender chasing him, for me, there's only one outcome, Keith. And that's, and that's what you, 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 know, you, you look at. And, and for me, it, it, was a, it was a penalty and a dismissal. It was a, it was a, okay. a, a clear goal score. This was a foul on Campbell. Later, there was yep. a foul on Zahara and a penalty claim. But I think that one was out, outside the area, Keith, that mm. second one. I, I go along with Mark. I think that uh, referees have to be right out the box. I can remember Mark at Hillsborough, if you recall, where uh, straight from the kickoff there was an attack and Pressman came out, handled the ball, was correctly sent off by Mark. Mark never liked sending players off. Uh, he, he would try to keep as many players on as possible, but he knew he had to apply the law. Mm. And I, what's amazing me, uh, amazes me is this this whole question of, are they seeing it? Are they actually seeing the offence? So if they're not seeing the offence, then you've got to question the position and the viewing angle. Mm. And then if, if that's awry, you've then got to say, where's the teamwork? Mm. You know, I put in the communication kits, they're there, they're insurance. They're insurance that the assistant can come in and say, look, there's a penalty kick. I mean, I watch Kevin Friend like, the, go the defender ah. saved the ball, Alan. OK, Everton nil, Swansea nil. Big talking point. It was Alcaraz, wasn't it, Mark? S he dived. S <laughs> save of the season, uh, wasn't it? Save yeah, or yeah. save of the weekend. Denied Swansea but, a penalty. Uh, it's the same. Shelby's I mean, shot. Keith, Keith hit the you know, nail on the head. About, it's, it's all about positioning. And, and we can talk about, we saw it in, in, in the, uh, the Manchester derby. 
and mm. they're too static and what they're doing is just running straight up and down the middle and what they're doing they're not coming off their diagonal and making an angle you have to make an angle for yourself and they're too static when they're given these decisions yeah. and the same with, with Kevin Friend okay if Kevin if Kevin doesn't see that yeah. if Kevin doesn't see that and he, he, he could, his view could be blocked you know you don't know the assistant referee has got to come in and help me because if you look at it, the assistant referee he hasn't got any offsides to contend with so all he all he's doing is looking at Alcatraz he's just looking at he's looking at and all he can see is that he has to see that handball. Freudian Alcaraz, slip, I should about say. Escape yeah. from. Yeah, yeah. I should say Alcaraz. <laughs> Sorry, Alcaraz. Escape yeah. from a, a penalty, <laughs> wasn't it? Yeah. He ought to have been called out Al Al Alcatraz. Uh, uh, yeah. Beggars believe that nobody among the officials saw it, Keith. I think is what Mark's saying there. Well, I think he's right. I mean, I just, I'm bemused by it all. Uh, and very, very disappointed. I mean, we try to be fair in this programme. We'd love to actually say, look, what a great decision here, great performance here. But we're seeing like, first of all, we've got my, um, Michael Oliver appointed to the big game. Mm -hmm. Right. He's not an elite referee in Europe, so they won't trust him with the Champions League games. Manchester United, Manchester City, is in effect a Champions League game. So then you've got a question, Mike Dean, football league game, why not on that game? Uh, Mark Clattenburg, we can talk about that forever. We will do. We, we he will should, have been, he should have been on that yeah. game. But, yeah. but not in that, Keith, he's coming, he's coming into that game off, off the back of Stoke Swansea, where he, you know, he's, give, he's given that penalty to, to Stoke. Um, by all accounts, he was, he was backed by, by the management. I'd like to know where the accountability is. It seems to me that there's a lack of sharpness in the referees. Yeah. You can talk about a little bit of fear. Yeah. I, they would say that I refereed and put them in a little bit of a fear situation. Yeah. The basis of it really was to keep them sharp, mentally mm. sharp, physically sharp. Um, so the accountability is part of that process. Selection is part of that process. And we're, we're actually seeing referees going out as though they couldn't care less whether they're making mistakes. But that cannot be the no, case, I've, so it's certainly not the case. I've got to say, and I think it's down to this evaluation system. I think if you, we'd done a poll and we asked every match official on the select group about this evaluation system, I bet they would turn around and say, kick it into touch. Right. Because they do not like it. I know that for a fact. They do not like this evaluation system. Hackett's blog says exactly that in, in <clears> his last one, that, that that should go. Penalties not given in that Manchester derby. Two for sure, and maybe maybe three. Is, you concur with that? Oh, absolutely. I mean, they're, they're nailed on. Well, they're, they're not even difficult. I, th I, I, I can understand. I can understand the first one. Let's, let's, let's try and be a little bit fair with, with, with Michael. Um, and I think the first one it, it, it is difficult. I think the first one, isn't it? Because it, it's in real time. You don't really see the contact. It's not until they look from behind the goal and they and, and they see it. But the other two. I mean, I've got I've got to say that the second one right on half time. As I said before, you know. It, it, it's there, you know, at the centre forward, t t um, Yaya's bearing down on goal, he's got the ball at his feet, why would he go down? And, it, and it's a red card as well, it just mm. seems that they're afraid to make these big decisions. You've got to be mentally strong, mentally tough in an environment like that, and that's, and that's how you get the respect of the players. And Big talking point, although the media didn't make as much of it <laughs> as people made on social media, which was rather strange and mystifying. Mm. Um, Joe Hart coming out of his goal to protest to the referee, Michael Oliver, going head to head with him. Red card. Mm. There's no hesitation. Look, at the top level, these guys that operate at Premier League level have a responsibility for the 30,000 referees in this country. Mm. That referee, that goalkeeper has run to the referee. That automatically is a yellow card by the nature that his descent is by action. That's the law. He's now put his face in and he's bumped the goalkeeper. I'm not worried about whether it's a slip or whatever. He's no right to be there. Yeah. The consequences of his run is that he should have been thinking six yards away, what am I doing? He shouldn't be there. Do you agree with this, Keith? Would it, would it read for you? What would you have done in Michael Oliver's position, um, Mark? Oh, it's exa exactly the same. Um, I've, I've got to say, I mean, I was one of the most lenient referees on the list, but I also had the respect to the players 
and I mean that that never happened to me. But if if, if it did in in that instant, you, you've as well I say in, in these big games like that, the, the game of these magnitude, you've got to be mentally tough. You've got to be mentally strong. And there are there are times there are instances where you know I, I go on about managing the occasion, managing the event, managing the players. There are things that you just cannot manage, and that incident was one of them. And I think he let every referee down in England on. You got to have courage. That you know that's yeah. one of the facets of a referee. What amazes me, Alan, is I then I personally watch match of the day, and I don't know where they're coming from. Mm. I mean, I can remember in my time as an active referee, in my time as general manager. The television, you switch it on, and there'd be criticism, mm. Mm. and that was part of the program. Yeah, mm. it was part of it'd be Jimmy Hill or whoever was running you, the program. You watched it with bated breath. Absolutely, you? because you knew that they would expose yeah. the incorrect decisions. What we're getting at the moment is we're actually, and there is a public responsibility that the BBC have to educate. Mm. I'll be as clear as that. And they cannot be saying to the public, well, the yellow card's right, when the law is quite specific right. that these incidents are red. I, I, think, think, I think what's happening, yeah. I think they're being fed by the PGML. Well, I that, think, that's, that's I think if happening. they are, then they're losing credibility within the family of refereeing and across the world. Can I just refer then to Newcastle nil, Liverpool 1 uh, on the Saturday, which appears to fit into the thinking that, you, that, that you're drifting towards there. Um, there is advice going in on, on big games to uh, presenters and pundits. And in that game, we saw two Newcastle players, Sizoko and Jan Mark, commit what appeared to me as a layman to be red card challenges. And they both mm. only got a yellow card in each case. I think. You yeah, know, I mean, I. I, I I have sort of bit, actually been in there. I've, I have some sympathy with the first one with, with Andre because, so yeah, we're in real time. For where Andre was, it most probably looked like a, a yellow card, reckless challenge. But it's not until you slow it down and it, you can see it, it is it is a red card. But for the second for the second one on on Balotelli, um, I didn't need to watch a replay. I just thought that I, I, I couldn't believe that. The commentators didn't say that deserved that deserved a well, red card. Now he's not gone in for a. He's just absolutely launched. He's, kick, he's just actually kicked him, and, and the laws say attempting to kick an opponent is a mm. red card offence. But for me, the fourth official Lee Mason is right there. Even if Andre's in not in the best of positions, Lee Mason is right in front of Lee Mason, the fourth official, and he has to communicate that to to Andre. And it was a it was a certain red card for me. A red and a yellow, or two reds for you, oh, Keith. For, for me, uh, on television. This is the point of the video replays yeah. that yeah. we talked about in, in previous shows. Uh, they're red. Okay. They now, fulfil the requirement of the law, excessive force. I saw Martin Keown and Alan Shearer, both very good and respected pundits for me, both saying that the referee got it right with yellow cards in those instances. Which but, but remember, them two are sitting with the PGML staff through the afternoon watching all those games. So they would have been fed... By the PGML. Let me it, tell you. But you're t implying there that they're being fed inc incorrectly. It, well, no, I know it's a matter of opinion sometimes. No, no I don't. I, I, you can say it's a matter of opinion. The law is specific. It, 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 there's no opinion. You know, it, if you consider the amount of time that we spend with referees and the referees develop their career, you know, the whole argument, and when I go to my time at the PGML, we used to spend an awful lot of time on the difference between careless, reckless, reckless with excessive force. Those are reckless with excessive force. The second one, Mark, Mark is correct. It's a kick. So there is, you, can't, you can't defend that situation. Yeah. You're mean, saying there's no blurred line on that. It's quite clear, is, is what you're... Look, you, they've you, got you. probably 26 screens in front of them. The whole aim is to be accurate. If the referee's made a mistake, he's not applied the law correctly, that is a red card offence, mm. that is what they should be saying. OK, before we get serious again, and we could do for the entire 15 or 20 minutes this week, just a little bit of light relief if I can introduce that. Some better performances maybe, Chelsea 2, uh, Queen's Park Rangers 1. This was Mike Jones. No cautions, remarkably, in this game, oh, not one. That's, that's oh. good. Yeah, you must have been watching a few DVDs of myself. But uh, <laughs> cool. actually, I've got to say, it's <laughs> never a penalty. Never a penalty. Okay. Never. But I, I saw it from a QPR fan. This was shoulder to shoulder. Yeah, I've got to say, being a QPR fan, 
fan, it's not a pen, but from a referee's point of view, you can see. You're why slightly it's given. biased. On yeah, that, I was biased there, but yeah. I can see why it was given. So Mike Jones were giving a, yeah. him a tick. Yeah, well done, Mike. Yeah, ticking off. Yeah. Uh, Martin Atkinson. Now, let's be fair. Week after week after week, we have taken him to task. Uh, Hull nil, Southampton one. Only one yellow card in this game. I'm not sure if there's anything really that no, we but can that, criticise that's what, him for. That, that's what we've been saying in previous weeks, haven't we, Keith? Take him out of the limelight. Get him out of that of that pressure cooker. Yeah. Give him a you know a lower down, a smaller game where there's yeah. going to be no no trouble where you can just go and referee and perhaps get a little bit of confidence. Back. So well done, Martin. Yeah, you refereed well. And, and, refereed well. And Craig, I thought Craig. Um, Craig Porson was he Craig, this, Craig, was he Craig, this Craig Porson he was, out, he? Uh, was as well. That was yeah. Arsenal three, uh, Burnley nil. Yeah. Uh, just one incident in that though. There was a bl- there was a blatant handball, wasn't there, by George Boyd, who'd already been cautioned from a corner. Uh, that wasn't spotted by any of the. You can't just blame the referee. None uh, of the officials spotted well, it. Three, three nil up. Don't go looking for trouble. Okay. Uh, Aston Villa <laughs> one, Spurs two. That was Neil Sporbrick, I think, correctly sent off Christian Benteke in that game. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you, you look at that and you've got to see, was, I mean, we, we, when we was on, Keith, we, we come up with this and we agree that, you know, if you, if you push someone in the face, anything above the neck um, is, is a red card in, okay. a, in a violent manner. Um, but what you look at, is, is that really a violent, violent push? You know, it's just, just a little, little one. Is it, you know, could he have managed it? But the, Yes, OK, everyone would sense you can, opinion. It, it's, it, you can you, sell a red card. You can but, sell it either way. But any young referee watching, you know, listening to us out there, what Neil should have done in the first, in that first incidence was give a, a little free kick, a little foul on um, yeah. Benteke there, because there was a little foul in there. Stop it, end it, free kick in front of the dugout. Everybody calms down and away you go. Because the game had gone up. The game okay. had gone up from a challenge by Vertonghen. Leicester nil, West Brom one. Stuart Atwell, Vasilevsky there with an elbow that was unpunished. But Stuart Atwell has got his first game back in the Premier League under his belt, relatively under the r- radar. So, you know, let's, let's wish him well for the future. I think um, he's a risk. You do? I, right. gen- I generally think he's a risk. Uh, okay. I mean, I... I, 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 I don't think he's a big game referee. You know, these are big games in the Premier League. Where you can see that. We're, mm. we're talking week in, week out about experienced referees that have been in the game for several years mm. and, and they're yeah. struggling. Let's talk about I, an I don't experience. think the timing's mm. right to bring mm. him in. I think the other side of it is that we're seeing too many, if you like, second rate referees. Mm. Well, well can, I, can, yeah, can, I, can, I, can I just, can I just interrupt? We're just nearly one, out of time. Just quickly, right? Just, just <laughs> yeah. quickly. We're in, we're in added time now, okay? We are. What, do you think about, what, what did you think about um, Keith Stroud? He, I mean, obviously, he's had a game and then obviously done the Liverpool Swansea game, uh, Capital One Cup midweek, and obviously got a red card overturned. What did you think? Well, I think, uh, again, he's an experienced guy who, given the current crop of performances, there's no reason that he shouldn't come in and be used on a more more frequent basis. But the reality of, of all these things is that we've got to get back, or the organisation of PGML have got to get back to the basics, and that is review the decisions as a group, yeah. meet every week, not every fortnight, and get ironed out of these difficulties because the penalty kicks and the red cards that they're getting overturned all need resolving and resolving quickly because I'll tell you what, the reputation of English refereeing that Howard Webb and yourself and others have built is falling like a pile of sand. I think we're becoming a laughing stock. Can I just finally say, Chris Foy, Stoke 2, West Ham 2, Alex Song with a a wild out of control challenge on Duke, which wasn't punished. So I suppose that's consistent with the inconsistent uh, theme of, of this week, although I but consistency in what you're saying. I'll tell you, Mark I, Clattenburg is the subject to finish and his suspension. Well, I mean, Clattenburg's suspension is an absolute nonsense. It's mm. a joke. Mm. And, and if you take Chris Foy, you'd be better off going home. I mean, Give him a coaching role. Yeah. Oh, you sure? Well, at the moment, his legs have gone mm. a little bit like Dowdy's. Yeah, I mean yeah. Dowdy's legs have gone. I mean you look at him and you think, is he going to get up with play or not? And that's the message that these senior referees yeah. they should be setting the example. But, but not only that, Keith. You go talk about Chris Foy. Any young referee watching us now, when you have a challenge like that, 
you've got to stop the play and you've got to do the right thing. I mean, that, that, that was, you know, bearing on an orange card. That was a yellow card for me. OK, and no, I know we go back to match of the day again. They said, oh, Chris Foy played an advantage. But yellow, but it, it, right. Well, I mean, I think, you know, I think because he's, he's, he's not touched the player, I think you can get, I think you can sell, you, I think you can sell. A little reckless. Uh, a yellow, yeah, yeah, reckless. Right. A yellow, it's, or you could say an orange. But what, <laughs> what I'm getting across here is, 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 Alan, that they said he played an advantage. Well, he didn't play any advantage because he did not signal an advantage. Correct, OK. So there was no advantage there in, in no sort of challenges. You stop the game straight away. Off camera, this debate's going to go on because we've got these two arguing. <laughs> we do hope sincerely that when we return next week that we will have some good performances to discuss, as we have had in some previous weeks. Yeah, for the, sure. Last week, in fact, I was saying it was 7 out of 10 because we had yeah. 7, you know, good performances there uh, and it's not every week it's like this fortunately thank you ever so much for your company thanks to Keith thanks to Mark Clinic. we'll see you again on the ref show <laughs> next week bye now